Hi and welcome back to another Magical Box tutorial. In this one I'll show you how to create sci-fi texturing using a software called JS Placement in conjunction with file to box Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need is JS Placement. So you can go ahead and go over to their website. And once you're on their website, you select the uh, installation that fits your operating system. For me, I'm using Windows, so I'm just going to click this right here, JS Placement Installer. And you're just going to let that install and do its thing. I already have this installed, so I'll get back to you once it's opened. Once installed and open, you should be greeted with their main screen. You're just going to go to these dots right here and double left click on it and go to JS Placement 2. And we're going to go ahead and select Crap Pack. And right here, you can see it randomly generates just a conglomeration of random parts. And you can tweak the settings here if you like. For instance, it's placed 125 iterations of this stuff so if I go if I want to do a lot of detail you can increase the iterations to max if you'd like or very little if you want I'm just going to keep it between let's just do 420 for the meme and we're going to leave this as normal and we're going to save the height and save the height in a place you know where you're gonna keep it. For me, I created a folder called sci-fi texture and I actually have one of the height maps right here. I'm just gonna override that. And now um, we want the color for this because right now if we import this into Magical Box, it'll just be black and white. So if you want the color, you just go over here it's like toggle colorizer and here you have a whole array of colors to choose from I really like um, this last one here because it gives off kind of a cyberpunky style of st steampunk cyberpunk style and I feel like the other colors are just too high in contrast so I'm just going to select that and select save color again I'm just going to overwrite this in your case, you won't have this, you're just going to save it as normal. And with that, we can go ahead and open up GIMP and go ahead and open the height map. Once it's open, you are going to have to adjust the scaling of this. If you go over to image and you scale image you can see the width and height is 80 8192 pixels and this actually correlates to voxels in magic voxel so that's going to be too hard to manage and work with so i'm just going to drop this down to something along the lines of maybe 512 i'm going to scale it and that's it for the height map. We're just gonna overwrite the PNG with this new PNG. And now that that's done, we're gonna open up a new project in GIMP. And this time, editing the color map. Again, we are going to scale the image the exact dimensions as the height map, which was 512, so we're gonna scale it. And we're gonna go to back to image mode indexed, and right here where it shows maximum number of colors, it's gonna if we, once this number dictates how many colors are gonna be used in Magical Voxel once the sci-fi texture is imported. I'm just gonna keep it at 48. It's fine. I'm gonna hit convert, and now that that's done, we're just gonna overwrite the save, and that's it. With that, we can open up file to box. With file to box open, we can go ahead and select for this where our file to box file is located. And select the height map 
for the input section where it says and your file. The output path you can just leave as is. It's gonna sh it's just gonna be um, exported to where you have your image. So that's fine. Over here we can leave that as is. Over here this is where we would select the color map for the corresponding height map. And we're just gonna hit enable colors. We're gonna now hit convert. You can see that the command prompt is finished working out its processes and actually where I save the two um, PNG files that actually had the voxel file ready for me so you can just double click that and you can see here we have the imported image of the height map that we created from JS placement and we, now we can just go ahead and uh, combine some stuff together and clean it up so so that we can easily make the uh, give it some like displacement and some depth so I'll get back to you once I'm done with that once we finish cleaning up we can now go ahead and add some um, height to this plane here so we can just do this one by one starting in each quadrant I'm just gonna double click this and now that we're in this we can Go over here to the region select and just select random points that you think should have height so if you region select and have same power color selected you can see if I click a color it will select those colors associated in this plane and you just want to hit control and see at the same time on the keyboard and once you do that you can go back um, using tab to the world editor and hit control V it should place the copied items overlapping this plane and if you use this blue arrow to go up you can see I have a part of the select copied region and you can just put it right on top like so and you're just gonna keep basically doing this and combining the copied stuff over top the imported plane. So what I just did right there is I select both the two objects and hit U on the keyboard and that put it into one object. Let's go ahead and go back into this and select other stuff that we want to have height. So for instance, maybe I can give this height of two. I just hit copy or control C, go back out. Control V to paste, and I have bring it up using this blue arrow, and I can actually even do this again. I can just instead of hitting Control C and Control V, I can just use while holding down Shift, drag this blue arrow up, and now I have another copy. I can just put it on top. Like so. And I can select these four um, regions and hit U. And now we're starting to get some height, as you can see. So I'm just going to do a speed run of this, and I'll get back to you once I'm done with that. Okay, so once I've finished doing the heights, I'm just going to go ahead and go to render and see what it looks like. Select the orthogonal view and I am going to select left clicking and dragging my mouse over the colors I'm going to give it a metal shader and you're just going to mess with the values to your liking and we're also going to use an HDRI getting rid of the um, sun intensity. We're also going to add a light source on either side. So 
So in this case, I will be using an orange lamp, and over here, a white lamp. And we just want to adjust the HDRI to where we don't want it to be fully green, at least not in this case, because it's reflecting off um, basically the sky, and I don't really like that. Um, so we can just put this down to like a lower intensity. And there's some, you can see there's like this line right here, it doesn't really look that realistic, so we're just going to select all the materials here and just mess around with this to your liking. Uh, you can see if I bring the roughness down it's basically reflecting off this light source right here. That's fine because I mean maybe we'll just have the um, focus on like right here or something. So that doesn't really matter. You can increase the IOR reflectiveness. And um, with that, we can actually give some of these um, like lights, like these little like colors right here, some light. So we just select, like let's say those two colors. And using Alt on your keyboard, you can left click and press Alt at the same time and figure out what color and the color palette that is. So in this case these two I selected are right here. I can highlight those two, go over to render and go to emit and turn on an emission shader. Now if I go back and try to find that camera position I was saving at, I can just hit seven on the keyboard to save that camera position. And let's go ahead and turn on bloom mess with some of the settings. Give it an get an exposure setting. And actually I don't think we need an HDRI. At least not in this case. So I'm just gonna keep that to zero. You can see the, um, this plane is starting to have some color. Let's go ahead and just add some more color to some of these items here. So for instance, maybe this should have some light. So let's go ahead and alt left click. It's right here, so we can give it an emission. that we create a cool looking sci-fi scene in magical voxel 
Thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you all in the next one.